So the hardest part of the battle for me was since my daughter was 17, to have to put my will together. But after that, you know, just you get through, you get through the treatments. You don't, you don't feel great. And um, sorry, <laughs> once, once you start feeling better, you don't realize even how bad you felt. You just get through it one day at a time. Something didn't seem right, and I did go get my mammogram in July. The results came back negative. And from knowing my body, I called my doctor and said, I, something's not right, I need to come see you. He agreed something wasn't right, sent me to the breast surgeon, and that's when she told me I had cancer. What's hard is my daughter was a senior in high school. She just started a couple of weeks before that, and being a, a single mom with a, a daughter, how am I gonna get through this her senior year? From the start of Cynthia's stage three breast cancer diagnosis, she was determined to have a positive attitude. I surround myself around really positive people. And even on my sickest days, my friends would say, how can you still come to work with a smile? How do you keep up, you know, that energy? And, you know, I was kind of silly and I'd have fun and save the tears for when I was when I was alone. That positivity getting her through almost six months of treatment ending in February of the following year. February 10th, 2017 was a hard day to decide because everyone asks you, um, you know, when were you cancer free? Well, that's hard to determine because they tell you you're a survivor the day you get diagnosed. One of the best days was going to my daughter's a capping ceremony for her senior breakfast and not knowing if I'd get to see it and I did and now she's getting ready to graduate from college so you know here we are. My name is Cynthia Miller and I am a breast cancer survivor. Join us for the Race for the Cure at Garden of the Gods Park on Sunday September 8th.